Welcome back, everybody. All right. It's time to strategize. Okay. What are you thinking? First so, thoughts. My first thought is, I think the character does love her. Okay. But that's not really what's important. The important part is that what he thinks is best for her. Mm. Now, I don't know if the obvious choice is I love you or not. I feel like that is the obvious choice, which scares me. <laughs> yeah, but part of me thinks that when we give her attention, she always freaks out. Yeah. But the other part of me thinks that, like, if she knows that she's special to him, then maybe that'll help her. You know what I mean? But it might hurt more. Right. So, but it's like, so, because she's shown both qualities of, she just talked about how she believes that her liking is not, reciprocated to the same degree so it makes me think i want to say i love you but if she's like why are you wasting your time on me it might make her feel even worse yeah so i feel like no matter what there's no winning so let's just go with our gut uh, any other thoughts um, well we always said sayori's best girl so but it's like this is harder though this isn't like do you want to decide if you guys are together or friends this is this is different well, this seems like a turning point. Like, what we say now is going to have an effect on the rest of the game, I think. It's not like sharing our poems with different people first made a difference like this. Like, is. all right, here's the way I'm seeing it. I think that if we say I love you, it's not going to turn out well. But if you say you'll always be my dearest friend, I think that might end up better. Really? I think so. I just have a gut feeling. I don't know why, but I feel like Dan and I connected for a second, and he's telling me that if we want Sayori to be good, we have to pick option two. You really think so? I don't know. I'm really not sure. If you want to just go, I love you, and just raw dog it, <laughs> we can just do that too. I don't know. It's, saved, it's right? a tough call. Yeah, we saved. Okay. If we're not liking the first few lines of dialogue, we can just be uh, whims and uh, no, no longer commit. Or, actually, I don't know, integrity, gamers, integrity. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a, when you have your choose your own adventure stories and you pick an option to kill, so you're like, nope, didn't actually pick it. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Obviously, that's the point. Um, I really want to see what happens. Though. All right, hit her with it. Hit her with the L-bomb, yo. I love you. Okay. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized sooner, but spending time with you every, spending okay. time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. Sarah. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms around tightly around me. Sarah. This, is this really okay? Okay, I think we did a good one. Yeah. I think we chose right. I think so, too. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. I always thought that she was, like, the one that he actually liked. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Sarah. I want to be with you forever. Me, too. We did it, kid. I hope so. We did. I hope this so. get hit by a car. <laughs> Game over! Oh. <laughs> I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. Oh, no. <laughs> I always thought this is, would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now. Why won't the rain clouds go away? Sorry, I think we messed up. <laughs> I, I think we might have messed up. They're not going away at all, Sarah. Uh... It's okay, Sayori. Uh... It might take some time for things to get better again. Okay, no maybe. matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Alright, depends how your response now. Uh, okay. I trust you. Okay, maybe we're good. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. A couple of what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to bring attention. Go. <laughs> it's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Sarah? Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? 
Yeah? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is just making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. That's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. And then she disappears into another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Portal. <laughs> she just opens a portal and just walks away. I know oh, it's that, that kind of game. <laughs> yeah. I know that I love her and she loves me. <clears throat> but I'm having so much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. <clears throat> Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Yeah. Our man Dan definitely went through something like this, or knew somebody who did. Because we went through something very similar in our youth, and uh, it's pretty much the same thing. That's true. Yeah. It's true. It's all true. We won't get too into that, but... Is this what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? Nah. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> yeah. But I know I'll, I'll give up anything. Give it. Give it everything I've got. Thank you. I can't read. Sayori is the most important person to me. And she's best girl. That's true. I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with Still her. Still best girl. Yep. It's the end of... It's the day of the festival. <laughs> it's the end of the festival. We missed it all. Yeah. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. Mm -hmm. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but I decided it's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently roll it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Mm -hmm. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way Natsuke did about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over than I could spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. Mm -hmm. But knowing Monica, I'm sure everything will be great, too. Sarah! Did you miss me? <laughs> What's wrong with your voice? I don't know. It changes every time. That's part of the fun. Where's the music? Yeah. You're the first one here! Thanks for being early! That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared That's that has all the poems we're performing. Mm -hmm. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think on the days on days this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said that because it's the way I'm used to thinking. Well at least he is like really he's really conscious of yeah, it. Yeah, he's trying. Know? He's really trying. A lot of people wouldn't change their thinking. Mm -hmm. So but Maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Uh, you should take a little responsibility for her, Sarah. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. What the fuck? How would you know about How that? How does she know? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? What is happening? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club resident after <laughs> No, all. you can't just say that. That's not okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. What the fuck? But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about that? If that quickly? That we're a couple now? Is she a stalker? Uh, maybe. I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You wouldn't know the full story at all, so... Or you don't know. Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Okay. What? <laughs> what the okay. hell? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Eh. Yeah, really. Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason it felt a little chill down <laughs> felt a little chill down my spine after hearing that. Yeah. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? No. They came out really nice. <laughs> yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, it really did. <laughs> Something like this would definitely help put take people to the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuke and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. Mm -hmm. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Do you, uh, 
Should I read it? We can read it. Get it out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Huh. Real interesting, Sayori. Did we fuck up? Maybe we might have done goofed, kid. I feel like there was no way around it. I don't know. I don't know what we done goofed with, Maybe but it's like a... after the game's over and see what happens. There's a lot of decision trees that we want to go back and try, though. I guess, that, that would yeah. be like our final, final episode where like we do all the different decision trees and show the highlights of each thing. Perhaps. Or we might not. I don't know. We'll see. Depends. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Sarah? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Ah! Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Okie doke. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself! <laughs> Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of waking her, walking her to school really makes her happy. Besides, I told her yesterday things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I didn't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Mm -hmm. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That's really something a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. Mm -hmm. I gently open the door. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Don't don't you click anything. What is that right there? An exception has occurred. See traceback.txt for details. Do I have something to write down? I feel like that's important. Okay. Oh, that's my receipt for my doctor. I can't write on that. We don't need to write anything down, I don't think. Ah! Um. I have a highlighter here. Sure. That was pen right here. Well. I think we fucked up. Do you really think saying we want to be our friend would change anything? I have no idea. I don't know what this means, but... It might be something we can do. Dan, you are a fucking asshole with this music. Come on, dude. Okay, so I have to become clean. When I was making the thumbnails, I was looking at images for them, and I knew this happened. But it still fucking terrified me. The way they did it. I do know a little bit about the story. I don't know like shit. This, but... I had a bad feeling that this might happen, though. Like, if we pick something wrong, or maybe there was no way of avoiding it. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I wrote that down. Let's say save it and I realize maybe this is not something I want to have saved like right this second. Eh, save it. So we have the thing in case we lose it. You never know. Well, that's always fun. Fuck! What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Siori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. 
I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why... Why would she do this? How can I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. Yep. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Yeah. So should we have said friends? I guess I was right. <laughs> should I go back? Nope. Gamer's integrity. We gotta venture forward. I don't want her to die. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like I've always been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Yep. Nothing I can do will bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Dan, you're a fucking asshole. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 I think it's gonna keep saying never. I don't know, I guess not. I, I thought it might be like never and it's like telling us. Oh uh, yeah, we do actually have to go back. End. I guess it won't let us choose that option. What the fuck is that? What? This is what I saw on Google Images. What the hell? Load game? Will let not let us reload? It won't let us go back. Hmm. So I think what this message was a way to go back. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the this is the beginning of the game. I want, I, want to, I want to see what she looks like. <laughs> oh, it, it just said that. Are you reading what it said? Yeah. That it's like, yeah, uh, uh, he's... Oh, what the fuck? Let's keep going. Now I'm interested. This is the beginning of the game. Yeah. Just without Sayori now. So I think this is how we get her back. I think we have to do this. But I don't know how to do that. Oh. Monica? Oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. We were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What'd you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? I'm, ha I'm having trouble doing a cheery voice right now. I'm, like, freaking out. Let's save it. <sighs> Let's stop for now, because I'm curious what this is. Empty... S All the slots are empty. Put it on page three, just in case. So. Dude, what the fuck? I'm disturbed right now. Let's stop it for a hot second. And then we'll be right back. Well, I think I know why this game's so popular now. I think we figured it out. 